Your turn. Yeah. <laughs> well, we showed you the uh, we showed you the pizza. Fresh pasta is going to be coming up in mm -hmm. a little bit. Uh, we're going to show you how to do some garlic knots. Oh, yeah. Basically, it's the same dough. Going to roll it out thin, kind of twist them up. I sort of showed you how to do it that last video. If you watch the uh, tomato pie, and we're going to do that right now. So that olive oil shot. Olive oil is great. I'm going to transfer it on here. All right, now just roll it out pretty thin. And we're not going to use anywhere near this much, but... Man, I thought I loved garlic knots. Me too. They're all, they are always a... Uh, man, they're always a fan favorite. Everywhere I go, everywhere, everywhere I bring them. Mm -hmm. Like people, they just they, people eat them up. Flying I'll make a lot, right? Yeah. People, they, they're just gone. You can just take them down. I like that Seinfeld has a bit about gluten. Mm. He's like, everything's gluten free now. He's like, I want just, just give me just the gluten. Just I want just the gluten only. That's what I think of when I eat garlic knots. I'm, like, yeah. I'm eating just the gluten, mm. just the, you know. I mean, when you need dough, you're just basically producing the gluten. The, Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. There's it's, a whole. It's, well, it's in the. We gotta do flour. We gotta whole, do a whole molecular. I, I think we should. I was thinking about that. Earlier. What, what yeah. we? Okay. A, a molecular. Like, like, like really explanation. Talk about the, the chemistry of cooking and what everything is and why everything. I mean, yeah, but your your main. Oh, I'm thinking about the dough. Oh, just dough by itself? Oh, that'd be great. The way the yeast and the sugar and it does its thing. There's a lot of really good science behind yeah. it with the, the long chain, uh, the, like the proteins. Yeah. We can get it, we can probably get a dude with a book coming out to come on and tell us about it. <laughs> we could as a guest, right? Yeah. Just have them like, that's pretty good. Have a green screen up here and just have them do that. That'd be cool. Sweet. Yeah, here I, I want it pretty thin because I'm going to be manipulating the dough, stretching it out, twisting it, and actually making a knot. Yeah. Hence garlic knots. Oh, you make a literal knot. Right? Making an actual straight up knot. Right. Not a bow tie. Could make a bow tie, call them garlic ties. Friend, here's your nice sool. Sweet. So here the uh, the technique is uh, what I'm gonna do is just make it just strips. Nice. And as you cut them, it's kind of great because it's so like elastic. It sort of separates yeah. from itself. Okay. Yeah. They're not all. Oh, I see. Together. Yeah, it all pulls back. Yeah. You can make bigger ones, smaller ones. Your call. Yeah. That's neat. Trying to make them the same size. Yeah. This is actually similar to fresh made pasta. Yeah. If you don't have one of those machines, right? Oh uh, yeah. So from here, actually. So the technique is, I kind of just stretch it out a little bit, okay. maybe fold it once, depending on how thick it is. Yeah. Maybe this one I'm even going to fold it again, just giving it a twist, right. and I'm going to knot it, literally. Shit. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Nothing happened. Nothing happened at all. We didn't drop anything. I dropped them. <laughs> all right. <laughs> And this is the technique with all of them. You know, depending how thin or long these strips are. And if you have like extra like I just did, I'm just kind of folding it over on a lubricated pan. So this one has a much larger end. Sometimes it'll break, no big deal, because it's really forgiving. I think I'm gonna take a crack at it. Oh, yeah, you gotta try it. Real easy, not a whole lot of super mega technique here. Mm -hmm. Here, let me know when you're ready. We'll both make a knot. All right. Here, I'll tell you what, grab one of them strips. Mm. Oh, wow. Cold to touch. Oh, yeah, you're real cold. Just absorbs uh, heat. Right. Really, really well. So I'm gonna just fold it once. It's just a small stretch, right. and I'm gonna fold it again. Oh. Mm -hmm. Just gonna twist it. And then you give it a twist. Give it a twist, and just 
knot it up. Literally try to actually knot it, give it a small pull. If you have any extra like I do, just kind of like a pretzel, just kind of folding it over or, you know, whatever you want to do. That, that looks really good. Ampersand. That looks great. Boom. So for this much, for a little bit of dough, I mean, you can make, you know, you can make a lot of knots, you know, depending on what you're doing. Uh, yeah, cut a few, uh, come in a few strips. We'll bang them out. Tell you what, there you go. There's one. Two. I'll just fold them one or once or twice for you, and then you, however you want to fold them or knot them. Cool. That's up to you. Cool. Yeah. It's kind of fun, isn't it? Just making it. All right. Man yeah, manipulating this material and it's like, by sheer will alone, it's we like, set our mind in motion. <laughs> we are not this little crude. little We're not Dune this. reference. Yeah. We're not this crude matter. We're not right. Oh, Yoda. The luminous. Right. He, the, he, say, he says, luminous beings are we. Yes. Yeah. Not this crude matter. Yeah. He said, Yoda says that? Yoda says that. I thought like Kant said it. <laughs> I had no idea that came from Star Wars. It, it, it was Yoda. No doubt about it. He was talking to... <laughs> oh, he was talking about the Force. Well, no, he's just talking about... Not the Force. He's just talking about what he thinks we are. Just as beings, sent, sentient beings in the universe. You know, Yoda probably talked to him about a lot of that stuff. Just didn't... Make it in the movie, whatever. It's the most sentimental thing I've ever heard coming from Yoda. Yeah, I know. It makes me, I, I, I feel tears coming. That's Master Yoda to you. L luminous beings. Yeah, he says, luminous beings we are, not this crude matter. That's beautiful. I know. It does sound really good. It's pretty poetic. Yeah. Yoda, master swordsman, epic wiseman, got and me, poet. Got me right in the feels. You remember when Yoda fought in Attack of the Clones? Oh wow! At, it, at first of all, he's like limping. He's like he's got a cane, yeah. right? He's pulling this like he's pulling the he's pulling the uh, uh, what, what's the term I'm thinking of? He's like pulling a fast one, right? He's, yeah, yeah. He's pretending to... he's burnt, and then he's just like, I got that. There's an old there's an old saying about uh, aging. Mm. Uh, I'm not as good as I once was, but I'm as good once as I ever was. As good once, okay. Uh, it's, a, it's about, it's some musician said it about, you know, like, hmm. hey, don't worry, I can still, I can still bust it out. I can still play. I can still play. You can play, you know, as, 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 Interesting, right. You know, no matter how old you are, all right. Yeah. Is, Is it? it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you looked at me like, I know where that shit came from. <laughs> <laughs> he gave you a look. Yeah, my number. <laughs> and of course, another. An old saying. God, mm. how full of shit am I? So. <laughs> This is about good right here. It's good? Well, you know. All right. We can just eat the gluten after. We'll have some gluten after. <laughs> uh, oven. Oven. Preheated. 400. No, uh, maybe 20 minutes. Yeah. I mean, this is good. Basically, I'm just going to open it up uh, just by looking at it. Yeah. And just till they're golden brown. Yeah, that's true. All the, the garlic and all that comes in. Yeah, that's after. All right. And, um... Uh, We'll see you in a minute, folks. See you in a few. Well, Sean, looks like the garlic knots are in uh, tip-top condition here. I'm looking ready. So the only thing I do, you can eat them like this, just as the dough. They're delicious. What I like to do is uh, mix them with some olive oil, which we have prepared here. Uh, it, it, it's fresh roasted or fresh sauteed garlic. I did in the pan real quick. You know, really, really small dice for this. Yeah. If you don't have it, just for the flavor, garlic powder, gar uh, some onion powder works pretty well. Nice. Um, fresh basil leaves chopped up, a uh, little salt, a little pepper. We have some uh, olive oil, uh, some imported Parmesan cheese, grated. Uh, that's really, really great in here. And uh, red pepper flakes. Mm. So it's all really, really good stuff. I will not say no to garlic knots. Uh, yeah, all yeah, right, right. That's one thing, absolutely <clears throat> not. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> So over here, I'm yeah. actually gonna put just a little bit more mm. olive oil, just a little bit. Yeah. Um, and we're just sort of kind of mix. A little bit more. Just kind of goofy tossing in this. Yeah. Usually have it in a pot, so where I have walls, and I can oh, yeah. really, really toss them. Usually. Yeah. Damn. Right. Because I just want everything to stick. You're gonna have, you're still gonna have a, a bunch of this 
yeah. slurry, if you will, at the bottom. Uh -huh. But, you know. I guess you can kind of put it off to the side as a little dipping thing. You can put it off to the side as a dipping thing. I like just, like when it. I serve it to people, I just like to kind of give it a good toss. Yeah. You know, most of it's going to stick. Some of it you're going to have, you know, just at the bottom here and there. A lot of it. Because yeah. it's just not sticking on there. Maybe even, I could have used a little bit more olive oil. Just a bit. We do so much garlic. We're probably immortal. Yeah, I think we're immortal. Yeah. And we're probably immune to all vampire attacks. Yeah. Also. You know garlic does that, right? Like there's a there's a town in Japan, like some weird out in the middle of nowhere place. Garlic does what? Uh, like I swear to like their average lifespan is like uh, it's up there. It's like 90 something maybe. You know what I mean? Like the average is 90? That's yeah. that's really high. It's high up. It's it's high for Japan. Wow. And they say that it's because they all they do is eat, like they kill garlic. They just eat it all the time. Wow. Yeah, it's got a uh what do they call it? What's that word from Dune? Garlic seed. Uh, Ger geriatric property. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So it just means uh, elderly people property? It just means that. It just means it, uh, it extends life. Oh, okay. So it's like spice. Yeah. Oh, God. <coughs> I don't want to talk about Dune. <laughs> yeah, we've talked enough about yeah, it. Yeah, it's, you know, you know where we're going with this. Yeah, so basically they're all seasoned really well. There's a lot of flavor on them. I'm just putting the remainder of this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you just can. Just kind of spreading it on there. Spreading yeah. the love. There you go. I mean, this is just gold in here. You can just <laughs> eat it by itself and oh, yeah. become an immortal. Yeah. <laughs> I will take my share of ambrosia. This is yeah. the food of the gods right here. Uh -huh. Cool. We're really making a huge deal out of garlic knots, aren't we? <laughs> garlic knots are their own life. Yeah. Food, you know. Yeah, they're great. Yeah, these turned out really, really well. Nice. And it's really that easy. It's the same dough, pizza dough, bread dough. Roll it out thin, tie it, bake it, make your slurry, however you want yeah. to make that. Maybe just olive oil and uh -huh. garlic powder and salt. Boom. That would be pretty good. That would be pretty tasty. But I, do, I like to do the fresh... Uh, uh. Twist. Fresh basil, fresh garlic, that garlic and basil is really coming out of that. Twist it, bake it, spread it. Golden brown. Yeah. Easy peasy. Yeah, man. Beautiful breezy. Yeah. Success, dude. Mm hmm. Boom. Yeah, boy, let's, nice. uh, let's find out. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Holy moly. <laughs> wow, all right. Wow. Mm. I mean, I made a bunch of times before, but really, really good. The dough is so... It's soft, too. Yeah. You can't go wrong with garlic knots. Yeah. It's really, really hard on the outside, and the dough is so, like, chewy. It's right. fully cooked, but chewy and sort of squishy mm. in the middle. Wow. Really baked perfect. Nice. Big right. success on that. That's, that came out great, dude. Sweet. Boom. Nice. Mm -hmm. well, another adventure, another side quest completed. Yep. <laughs> another trophy. Stay tuned. We got <laughs> more coming at you. Nice. Smash that like button. <laughs> Peace. Peace.